Today, I'm going to take you for a little tour around our Horlick High School Library. My name is um, Mrs. Harto, and I am the Horlick High School Library Media Specialist. Today, what we really want to do is find out how we organize our information so that you can find it as best and as fast as you can. When we're all finished with our meeting today, I want you to be able to locate information in the Horlick High School Library. And you will know that you are very successful when you can find it all by yourself. First of all, to find information in our library, you want to log into ClassLink. Um, put in your username and your password. Then you want to locate the Follett Destiny Universal search. You may also have de just Destiny, but I believe on your computers you only have the Universal search. Once you click on that Universal search, there is a little microscope that will be up in the far right hand corner. You need to Go to that search and write in what information you would like to find. So if you're looking for a book like Girls Stolen, that's the title, you could put that in there. And the Destiny Discover will take you to what we have in our collection. If it's a book that is in, it will say in. If it's been out and somebody's got it, it will say out. Now, there is a very important but a little bit hidden way that I want you to know about. Up at the top of your screen when you're in Destiny Discover, there is a more. So if you go up to more and pull down, there is a back office. If you go to the back office, you will find our regular high school library webpage. In the far, far right hand corner, it says log in. That's where you're going to put in your username and your password. Now, to find the books that are actually on the shelf, and also you will no note that you can find books that are in other high school libraries. If that's the case, then you will want Ms. Harto to help you to get those books if we don't have them. So you Click on catalog. When you get there, there's different ways you can search. You can search by a keyword. So if you were searching for the topic of psychology, that's a keyword. Or if you had the title of a book, or if you knew an author or a subject, you could search. So I found one word uh, psychology book. I found an ebook and I found a regular book. And the number of, on that book was a call number of 150. It said something very important, one of one available locally, which means it is on our shelf. Actually, this is a picture of the shelf where that particular book is located on psychology. Uh, note that there are some little white um, tags on the uh, spine of the book, that's going to have a number, and we're going to find that book by that Dewey number. There are all different kinds of categories in Dewey, and that's how we find books according to subject. And uh, we've got our 001 to 009, which is going to be our encyclopedias, all kinds of things that are real basic curiosities. Uh, 100 to 199 is going to be philosophy, books about ourselves, our feelings, our dreams. 200 to 299 are going to be books about religion, all different types of religion. 300 to 399 is going to be social science. And so customs and cultures and manners and crime and um, all different types of books of that nature. 400 to 499 is going to be books about languages, dictionaries, sign language, foreign language. 500s are going to be natural science. So books about our bodies, animals, things in nature. 
600 to 699 are going to be books about applied science. So how to fix a car, how to do hair, robots, engineering. Um, 700 to 799, there's a very important um, number in there, which is 741.5, and that's going to be our graphic novels. 700 um, has 796, which is going to be our sports book and uh, sports books. And 800 to 899 is going to be our poetry, plays, all kinds of classic literature like Beowulf, Shakespeare. 900 to 999 is going to be geography and history. And 9. 21 and 920s are going to be biographies. That's about people. And the, the number is 921. And then the book is arranged by the name of the person that the book is about. Here's the map of our school. Here's our library. And where are our books located in the library? I'll talk about that. Um, the zeros to the 346s are up on the top in the balcony. Uh, far toward the west. The 346s um, go to the end of the balcony, and then you have to go down the steps straight ahead to find the rest of the 300s. So here we are down in the 300s. There are some little um, numbers on the tops of the shelves that show you those numbers. Um, 500s are way down on the far west side in the bottom on the left. And those are going to be all kinds of things about nature, mathematics, the earth. 600s are going to be right next to them on the far west, west end on the bottom. Um, and that's going to be our applied science, the inventions, transportation, pets, how to do your hair, um, engineering. 700s to 799s, those are going to be up at the top. And uh, that's going to be on the balcony. And biographies are down below on the east side. Hispanic titles are underneath the prom picture, this very old prom picture. They have a red and yellow um, spine, spinal note. Uh, picture books are right next to them if you go to the right. There's a Wisconsin uh, collection also down in that area. You'll see our little Bucky Badger. In that area, opposite of the Spanish books and the children's books, is a collection of gardening books and also culinary books, which are books about recipes, and we do love those kind of books. We have a huge fictional area. It starts way down on the bottom west end of the library and continues on for many shelves. Um, fiction, as you know, is organized with the word F-I-C and then the author's last name from A to Z. Uh, then we also have some special collections. We have science fiction, and they are um, right in the middle of the library, and uh, I will show you right at the bottom of the stairs, the 